Good evening from Yankee Stadium, where Maryland scores 54 points, wins the pinstripe bowl. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner, live from the field here. We're going to spin a little bit as the celebration continues behind us. Mason, what'd you make of today's Maryland 54 to 10 win? Yeah, the Terps came out here. They played a complete game. They did a lot of things right today. And, you know, Virginia Tech's offense was a little bit uh, slowed down with all the transfers that they've had. But Maryland came out. They did what they had to do. They executed the plays they wanted to. And, you know, it was kind of that complete look and you you know Loxy calls it the start of the 22 season and this is the 22 season it's gonna be a good year for Maryland football it, finally a resounding win beat Virginia Tech which is something I like to do and it's just a great day to be a Terp here in New York we will be back on the field after this word from the big dog himself Rick Jacklich hi I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett if you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. And why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. As well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jack Litch Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. Serving the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. <laughs> You see a few of the photos that Mason took behind us here. Uh, he had a pretty good view in the end zone. They kept scoring right to where you were standing. Yeah, Maryland was really happy to be here. They played really hard today. And you can just see in the celebration, for a lot of these guys, we heard it from some of the coaches that we walked by. If you've been here since the beginning of this, and I know a lot of you fans that watch our content have been, this is a great moment for Maryland football. And hopefully it's the start of a great 10 years. Because if you look from... 2010 to 2020 it was the worst 10 years of Maryland football for a long time so hopefully this is the start of 2021 to 2030 of some winning Maryland football. If you can throw the ball like that and play decent defense you can win some games it just shows when you got up close to this Maryland size wise effort wise they're, they're as big or bigger than a Virginia Tech. When you listen to Virginia Tech coaches talk about the Maryland passing game and the size Maryland has up front it's a legit Big Ten team. They play New York, New York behind us. What did you make of Yankee Stadium your first trip here? Yeah, really made for a TV event, I would say. First off, this football game, you know, obviously it's not a baseball football hybrid stadium, so it doesn't really have the accommodations for really great seating. But as far as, you know, the fans and, and building up a game day experience and having, you know, relevant things on the scoreboard, they took a little bit of the Virginia Tech game day. They took a little bit of Maryland stuff, and, and they put together a really, really good bowl game. And I think this is one that is close enough for Maryland fans that there were a fair amount. You know, with everything going on right now, I saw a lot of people trying to dump their tickets at the last second. Uh, the smallest crowd in the history of the Pinstripe Bowl was today, but, you know, Enter Sandman was really good for the Virginia Tech fans. Maryland, though, brings it. and yeah, Maryland's you know. offense was really good. Littleton, touchdown, Turtles! Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Uh, look, you got over 111 yards I think, from Daryl Jones. Leah at one point was, was he 22 for 26 at one point? Littleton looked good in a limited action. Fleet Davis looked good. Tarheeb still returns a punt. Greg Rose, possibly the best walk on defensive player in America, gets a touchdown off a Nick Cross hit. It was great. In the yeah, end, it was, it was great. 
you know, and the, Bruce said this uh, over text. Maryland really owed Virginia Tech one like this. And Maryland actually surprisingly now has a two-game lead on Virginia Tech in the all-time series. So even with the upcoming games in 24 and 25, the worst you can walk away with against their regional rival is a tied series, surprisingly, uh, given some of those beatdowns during the Frank Beamer days. You had to bring that up, didn't you? Didn't I tell you to never mention that again? Hey. Yeah, those are some ugly games, but this, again, is, is the start that you wanted and the showing on national television that Maryland's looking for. Uh, I believe this may have given Maryland, it is the biggest win margin of victory in the history of the Pinstripe Bowl. I believe it is the largest margin of victory in all of bowl season to this point. We'll see if that stands up, but this is the showing that Maryland needed. They did it well. They're extremely happy, quite proud of them. Wonderful day in New York. And, uh, and there's a lot more to say when they lose than when they win like this. <laughs> I'll give it that. <laughs> there is. It's, it's getting cold out here. I want to listen to New York, New York, standing on the field at Yankee Stadium. Spectacular showing by your Maryland Terrapins. And we'll be back in College Park as basketball season returns against Wisconsin, the home game on the ninth. Thanks for watching all football season. As we've said when they've lost and we say when they won, We'll keep doing this as long as they keep playing the games. Thanks for watching.